Hello, in today's video I'm going to be comparing two Zigbee temperature sensors. I use these both in my home to measure the temperature and humidity levels of different rooms around the house, and I use them in conjunction with Home Assistant. You can also use them with their own ecosystems, but we'll take a look today at how they integrate with Home Assistant and the differences between the two devices. Let's take a deeper look. Hey Home Automation Guy, start the show. The first device we'll be looking at today is the Sonoff temperature sensor. It is relatively large compared to the Akara. You can see down here the pairing button, which will pair it with your Zigbee Hub. It's made from a relatively cheap plastic, and it doesn't feel that well made. The first thing you'll need to do is crack it open, which is not an easy task. You need to jam a screwdriver underneath the edges and pop off the back. Here you're able to access the battery compartment. And this uses the CR2450 battery. It's slightly larger than the battery used by the Akara, but it does seem to last a bit longer. When you first get the device, you'll need to remove the battery cover, the plastic thing that's uh, preventing the device from using current while it's in the packaging. And you can top the back back on again. As you can see, it's not as easy as it looks. You need to get it around the right way. And it just clips into place. The Akara device is much, much smaller, and it feels a lot better made. It's physically tighter together, has a smaller pairing button down the bottom here. As you can see, it's kind of difficult to get into the back, and I mangled it when I was trying to open it with a screwdriver. I found it to be a lot easier to just pop my fingers on the pad at the back and then twist that back cover off. Again, it uses that smaller battery, the CR2032, and you'll need to pop the plastic cover out again in order to uh, get the current flowing the first time. Twisting it back in place is relatively simple as well. Overall, it just looks a little bit nicer, a little bit more polished. When you compare them side by side, you can clearly see their size difference, not only in the physical dimensions around the sides, but also the thickness as well. The Akara comes with a pre-attached double-sided ring, which you can peel off and stick to any kind of surface. The Sonoff doesn't come with anything pre-attached. They do give you this square of double-sided tape, which you can peel off and once again attach to any kind of surface. A detailed look at the specifications here, we can see the things that we've already spoken about. The clear differences in sizes, the different types of batteries, but it's also worth noting that they have different temperature ranges that they work between. Mostly that's not going to be a problem for your average consumer, but they do have slight differences there in the tolerances and the temperatures that they work with. The major difference is the fact that the Akara also measures atmospheric pressure, while the Sonoff does not. I personally don't know what a kilopascal is or how to use it or interpret it, but maybe that may be a consideration for some people. Finally, to pricing. The Sonoff is a couple of pounds cheaper than the Akara. And that may not seem like a big deal, but when you're buying a lot of them in order to put one in each room of your house, those small price changes add up very quickly. As I mentioned at the beginning, I personally use these temperature sensors in my home assistant setup. Here we can see the Akara temperature sensor device with all of the different entities it exposes. You can see the ones that you would be expecting, such as the temperature, humidity, and atmospheric pressure. And it also sends out information about its link quality and the battery levels as well, so you know when to change those tiny little watch batteries inside. These devices both send updates to Home Assistant or your Zigbee Hub when a temperature sensor change has occurred. So it won't just constantly send the same temperature over and over again, it will only do it when it's detected that it's changed by a certain degree or so. I've put these two temperature sensors in the same location next to an old analog thermometer, and they all show readings within a degree, so they appear to be quite accurate. It's not a scientific instrument, but it should be able to give you what you need inside your house. The Sonoff device behaves in a relatively similar way, with the noticeable absence of the atmospheric pressure and a slightly different way of reporting the battery value. However, it basically works the same way as the Akara as far as Home Assistant is concerned. 
I've added both of these sensors to my Lovelace dashboard using the sensor history charts. And you can see the temperature changes in my house as the day goes on. You can also plot the difference in the level of humidity. And you could also do this with the atmospheric pressure as well. It behaves very similarly for all the different entities that both these devices expose. You can also use these entities inside automations. Here I've set up an automation that sends my mobile phone an alert if the temperature in my office goes above 30 degrees Celsius. I wanted to make sure that it goes above that temperature for a long period because I've had times when the sun shines directly onto the temperature sensor and that triggers a fake alert. What you'll need to do is work out where to place your temperature sensors so they get the most accurate reading. You'll not want to place them too high up or too low down because the temperature fluctuates by a few degrees from the bottom of your room to the top. When it comes to my favorite, I'm going to go with the Acara sensor. It's got a smaller physical size and it's generally just built better. It feels like a better quality device. Even though I use both in my home and I've never really had any problems with either of them, it just seems to me like a better quality component. If you'd like to watch more videos about Home Assistant and how I use sensors and other automations to make my home smarter, click on that subscribe button and together we can make your home smarter. Hey Google, what's the temperature in the wine cellar? Wine cellar temperature is currently 12 degrees.